What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Now today on the table in front of us, and I say us because Women Carry Knives is here at the table with me. Hi. <laughs> uh, is something new from CJRB. This is the Rampart. Uh, that is the 1907 is the model number. This is, I think, probably my new favorite CJRB knife. I know I just said that about the Gobi, but they keep making knives that I love. The Gobi, of course, is this Persian-style knife sitting right here. Uh, this is a cleaver, and y'all know I love a good cleaver, and this is just that. It is a good cleaver. It is comfortable in hand, even though it has kind of a rectangular handle. Um, I tend to like that. I liked it in I like it in many of my knives, and I like it quite a bit here, too. Uh, it has a nice choil, just big enough for my finger. If you had slightly smaller hands than me, this would be ideal. Uh, it is running on bearings. It has steel liners that are not milled out. It's got these two nice barrel spacers in the back that hold uh, the standoffs back here. It's got a lanyard hole, which is very nice if you're into lanyards. It has some jimping on the blade, which is a little soft, but um, that's okay. I'm not sure how much you're going to use that anyway. The action is superb on this knife, as they tend to be when you get them from CJRB. It is a D2 blade running on bearings, which of course means that it is very, very smooth in action. Let's go ahead and get some measurements so we know what we're talking about here. This is one, two, three full inches of cutting surface, three and a half inches of D2. Uh, I would say it is probably three millimeters thick, which is really nice. It's a good chunk of D2. Uh, the G10 is textured so that you get a fair amount of grip. In fact, you get good grip. Uh, the whole thing feels really nice in hand. It has the standard CJRB stamped steel pocket clip. Um, I'm a huge fan of milled titanium pocket clips, except these generally work better. This is no exception. Uh, these clips on these knives are just really very good. This is a uh, tip-up, set-up tip-up right-hand carry, but you can swap it over and go left-hand. It does have the holes over here to move the clip around, which is very nice. It's a liner lock, as you can see, and we lock up at just about 45%. Um, there's a nice cutout here to access the liner lock, and so you can one-hand operate this knife really easily. I think it's a good... Well, no, I know it's a good knife from CJRB. I think that they are killing it in this particular area of the market. Now, Artisan, who is the parent company, has long shown that they have marvelous uh, milling and design and tooling and materials, they're a good company. And so when they set their minds on kind of owning the budget market, man, they're going to do it. <laughs> uh, there is a little bit of billboarding, the CJRB logo, which of course isn't bad. It's fairly nice. On this side, you've got the model number and it says D2. And of course, down here, China, because that's where these come from. Please excuse that noise. My dog has decided to come over here and take a drink. That's a good girl, Lola. You go after that water. I swear. <laughs> Once again, I have no studio. Women Carry Knives has no studio. We have a dining room table, and um, we just kind of take what comes. Is it? <laughs> that you know, actually, there was somebody who they were wondering why one of my subscribers always calls me cat. Okay. The reason the reason she calls me cat is because Jared came up in our video one time, and now yep. I've been dubbed cat. Yep. Our cats walk across our table. The dog bumps things. Yeah, yeah. Life around here is exciting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> However, let's stick to the knife, shall yes, we? Let's awesome. do a size comparison. Here it is, again, next to the Gobi. Um, these are very similar in size. Uh, CGRB seems to aim for and nail this particular size of knife. Um, the Gobi looks a little shorter because the handle is curved, but really they are just exactly the same length. or very, very close, which is very nice. Here it is against the Rat Model 1, and you can see the mo the one is a bigger knife. Uh, of course, the Rat 1 is bigger than a lot of knives. It is a big knife. That's why I use it in comparison. Let's go ahead and throw the uh, Rat Model 2 up here just because that's what I do. Um, again, this is a really nice mid-sized knife. It's much bigger than the Rat Model 2 here, which is too small for anybody as far as I'm concerned. Oh, there it is against the new, well, not new, but the... Monterey Bay Knives EZC. This, this is a good knife. <laughs> but it's also very small. 
And if you're looking, right, if you're looking for something a little bigger and a little more budget friendly, <laughs> well, you cannot go wrong yes. with these CJRB knives. I like this. I really do. I know I say that a lot. But the, recently in particular, CJRB has shown me that they are going to make interesting looking knives for people who want a collection that's not just this. This is a perfectly good working knife. Yes. But if you're into knives for more than that, if you want them to look interesting and work well and be comfortable in the hand, CJRB is just killing it in that area. They really are. I guess that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. This has been the CJRB Rampart. Let's do it one more time. It is D2 on G10 running on bearings. It is a liner lock. It has a nice deep carry clip. It's a spectacular pocket knife. Stellar, as it were. <laughs> I'm trying to make women carry knives laugh. Instead, I made myself laugh because I'm an idiot. Anyway, thank you. Now Got her. Got her. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like the video, please. The little button down there. It does. It does help the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I would love to have you here on a regular basis. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.